Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Farming Simulator 22 as we continue our French Orchards and other unique things map. <laughs> We're going to be doing some, um, we got some tomatoes going right now. We're going to be doing some, oh, really, dude? Really, dude? I'm pretty sure I had the right of way, my friend. Pretty sure that's how driving works. Anyway, um, we got an auto loader mod. I talked about that in the last episode. Uh, last episode was a little bit of a weird episode. Um, we spent some time trying to figure it out as well as just trying to load stuff to begin with. I mean, if nothing else, it was a little bit entertaining as far as seeing a front loader do weird pirouettes. Um, apparently our front loader thinks it's in, you know, ballet or something. I don't know. Uh, but it was very strange. So we got that hopefully situated now. Hopefully the auto loader works for us and we can, um, save us a little bit of time and get things rolling somewhat. Okay. Going forward. I mean, I thought about getting an auto loader at one point anyway, just because honestly, at some point I just get tired of doing pallet loads and I don't mind doing a few pallet loads here and there. Like if I had to do, load up like a little bit of seed or a little bit of fertilizer, things like that. If I'm doing like thousands upon thousands of liters of whatever it may be. Uh, no, I, I don't want to sit there all day doing pallet loads of that. It's just not, not my, not my way of enjoying this game. We're going to get this over to the farming market. Uh, the tomatoes are at a good price. The lettuce is a little bit low, but I've already got them loaded, and I'm pretty sure it'll just take them all anyway. Um, I don't think I have a way to choose one or the other, so we'll just sell them all. It's not like it's at a bad price. It's above average. It's just it could technically be higher. Costs us a little bit of money to trade out the trailers. This trailer is a little bit more expensive, um, which is fine. It's whatever. Plus, we lost a, we lost a crate of tomatoes somewhere in, you know, Timbuktu land. Who knows where? And if you're asking why the pallets look all chaotic, uh, I forgot to strap them down before I started driving. So the auto loader loads them perfectly fine. You just got to remember to strap them down before you start moving around because they are still technically very much in there loose, loosely. I love the hot air balloons on this map. I think they're very cool. And the fact that they move very, very slowly, but they do move. I mean, we're only going to get, like, what? A couple thousand bucks? Maybe 3,000, 4,000 bucks off of this? Still, it's it's something. It is something. And it didn't really cost us that much. much just the water and then the, the trip up here. It's not quite time to sell the eggs yet. We're sitting on a few of those. There they go. I don't know if I'm unstrapping them will make them go any faster, but we'll do it anyway. Apparently we're selling them one at a time to people. Sometime today. There we go. <laughs> 2254. Not bad, honestly, for just a few crates. Um, really not bad at all. I mean, that pays for the difference in the trailer price right there. Although we did sell the other trailer, so technically we were about short about 4,000 bucks, but still not a big deal. I'm pretty happy with that way that works, and it's definitely makes it going to make it a lot easier, a lot quicker. Um, and then we can kind of hopefully start making some profit off this farm soon-ish. I uh, definitely still want to get more grapes going and I want to get more, um, get some olives going. That's, that's the goal. I get that field filled out with grapes and then the field maybe behind it filled out with olives and then pay off the loan. Those are, those are my goals. Completely full field of grapes, completely full field of olives, pay off the loan. At that point, I think I will consider this playthrough 
pretty much successful. Uh, and, and buy all the equipment. We gotta have all the equipment bought. So those are my those are my um, success points, if you will, of of considering this playthrough successful. Because I'm not gonna play this playthrough forever. I'm having some fun with it, but I don't wanna I don't wanna let it linger forever. We gotta we gotta find an end point, end goal. I mean, there's no no way I'm gonna be doing like massive fields of grapes or olives. They're fun to play around with, and it's definitely a different change of pace, like literally change of pace, because it's a lot slower. Um, but I do not want to be doing like massive fields of grapes and olives. It's just not, if I could automate with, with workers, fine. But since you can't, it would take me hours just to f harvest one massive size field. Like this field right over here to our right. I mean, that's not even one of the biggest fields. Can you imagine that thing filled up with grapes? It would take us <laughs> several, several episodes just to harvest that one field. And we don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I could speed up the game a little bit. I was just trying to slow it down so we didn't lose the, the prices. Hoped about speed five right now. Is there anything else I'd like to do on this map that we're not planning on doing on any of the other maps? I, mean, I think I'm going to do the, sh the, sh the sheep with the wool. Because um, I don't think I'm going to do that anywhere else. I'm already doing cows. Horses, I don't know. I'll fit in horses somewhere, maybe. I I'm not sure if I'll do horses for sure. I actually don't know if much has changed with the horses from 19. So I don't know if there's a really specific reason for me to do the horse. Not that there's much change with the others, but they do have the production cues, right? For sheep, we can get the wool and sell it to the, the cloth people. Or, or I can buy the, the, the fabric things and, um, and and make money off of that, I think. Or I should be able to, right? Uh, it should be cotton and wool, right? I would imagine. Um, are you stopping every time I pass by you? That was a little weird. They don't normally show me that much courtesy. Maybe I... Maybe they heard me yelling at the other guy for not giving me the right away, and now they're all being very cautious. Don't make the don't make the crazy farmer mad. Look at them, they're all I, I bet the autoloader is affecting them or something weird. Alright, well, there's that. Feeling pretty good about that set of things. Um I mean don't have a ton of eggs. A few. And we could technically load those up manually by hand if we wanted to at some point uh we don't really have any grape stuff coming right now so yeah no we're really pretty much done uh are our vines growing yet when do they start growing uh february march something like that grapes march so we'll have a little bit longer before they start growing should be getting some snow later today doubt it's gonna be enough to put on the ground for us to mess around with but we should be all right uh let's see we've got water there you got water there, and you guys have got food. Why is your health only 97%? Is it because of cleanliness? I don't see a cleanliness thing. Why is y'all's health low? Oh. It's a baby. I was like, I was confused. I was like, it's a bunch of babies. We have, we got nine new chickens. We filled out our chickens. Our little pasture that can hold 30 now has 30 chickens. Wow. I was confused. Like, why is their health low? I don't understand. Um, okay. Well, I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. I was not expecting them to fill up quite that quickly. I mean, we'll take it, but, um, my goal was to start selling off chickens. Probably what I'll do is wait till these hit puberty here in a few months. Um, and then I will start selling off the ones that are the old, like a few of the older ones, so we can start getting them to cycle through. And it's not like a ton of money, but like, you know, I sell a few chickens here and there. That's going to, you know, a few hundred bucks here and there. So can't go wrong with that. Might as well. It's free money because they just keep reproducing, right? All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and fast forward a bit. Uh, let me check the used stuff real quick. Nothing there. Let me just go ahead and start fast forwarding at 360 speed since we can fast forward pretty quickly. And we'll check these things a couple times here just to make sure there's nothing. Nothing showing up. I don't think there was going to be, but we'll give it at least a fighting chance of something good. It's crazy how much water this thing holds. 15,000 liters. Look how fast it goes down when you're going this fast and speed. I have to fill up some more water soon. 
much the price of lettuce right now, by the way? 1127. 1127 is a pretty good price for lettuce. It's actually above the good price. It's actually going to cap. It's at 1139 right now. 1175 would be like the best price you can get for lettuce. Um, I don't know if it's worth running all the way back up there right now. Oh, even the 593 on the tomatoes is the best price for tomatoes right now. So we're getting some good prices on both of those. But honestly, I don't know if it's worth taking two pallets up. I think I'd rather like let it fill up a little bit. Not seeing anything else used coming up here. It's starting to get dark. We will go ahead and fast forward. And we're going to go ahead and fast forward to 9 o'clock because it's too dark. <laughs> Any other time of night. 8 o'clock in the morning apparently is too dark. Now, if the prices are still good today, I will um, potentially sell these because we're going to have a few more pallets here that are worth taking up there. Let's see here. Oh, we got, we still got that trailer. I mean, it's a decent tractor, but we don't need it for this map. And we've got another tractor there. So none of, none of that stuff do we need. Uh, and, oh. It wasn't there a second ago, but we got snow. Well, look at there, guys. We've got some snow we can play around with. I mean, I don't think this thing can do it very well. We will find out maybe, but we do have some snow. I might start clearing out some snow just for fun because why not? Can that thing fit on there? Like one of these small ones? We do have a little snow blower. And technically I think you can sell the snow somewhere. I also have a way to put salt down. Kind of just want to go plow some snow for a little bit. With this little two thousand dollar one, I'm hoping that can attach to my little tractor. Um, but yeah, no, that's really cool. We don't need to. I, there's no real specific drive that we have to do the snow, but I just it's kind of fun, or at least different, I should say. Eleven fifty is a really good price for lettuce. Just I only have two containers. I think I'm just gonna wait till the next cycle comes around. Uh, for now, I think we're gonna drive this thing over. Let's go get us a snowplow because you know spending a couple thousand bucks for nothing sounds like a really good idea. because I, I haven't been able to play around in the snow yet on any of the maps. Are there any other modifications I can make to this tractor to make it a little bit better? Can I have wider wheels? Oh, no. Check it out real quick. Let's see here. Customize. No, it cannot change the wheels. We've got the three-point thingy on the front, which is what we want. Uh, we can get a better engine at some point, but don't know that we need it. I can go up really high compared to what we've got right now. But yeah, we just don't need that much right now. Um, well, let's just go ahead and buy, let's buy this cheap snowplow. I'm not, I'm not really going to go too far out of my way because honestly, by the time we really need to do anything with our farm, it will pretty much be past time for the snow, but... I kind of just want to have it just because. Why not? Oh, I don't want to buy two of them. <laughs> that would be a little unnecessary. I assume this will fit just fine. It's a tiny little plow. Yeah. I think we're going to be just fine with this. Don't hit me, cars. I'm trying to clear some snow. Be nice to me. How I want to do that. This just goes up and down. Doesn't doesn't rotate any other way. It looks up. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Oh, weird. I guess I can kind of tilt it sideways, maybe. Why not have it down? Down all the way. Oh, there it goes. We just can't do it that close to the to the road. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of satisfying in a very fun way. 
I mean, there's no, we don't need to do this. There's no real specific reason at this point in time on this map that we need to do this. Um, but it makes me a little bit happy to kind of, I don't know. It's just something different. This thing goes pretty fast. Goodness. It's got some get up and go. I don't know if you'd normally be going that fast trying to plow some snow around. Make little designs. I'm going to draw pictures in the snow. <laughs> All right. I'm having too much fun. Oh, goodness. All right. That's enough of that. 2000 bucks for something that probably will never come up. I mean, I guess I could clear some paths over here. Let me, let me be a little bit more official about this. Let's, let's at least clear a path over here. Not down all the way, or is it just bouncing too much? What if I tilt this kind of just out like that, where it just goes out both sides? I think I liked it better going to one side, but I wanted to see what this did. Because now I'm just going to push it back to the middle, aren't I? Yeah, I'd rather have it both going to one side so I can go down each path and have it going both directions. Let's uh, leave you that way and then move you out. So now I'm going to have a big pile over here by my lettuce. Pretty big ball of snow. I mean, it's similar to, I guess, how the grass works in, like, a, a silage bunker. Oh, spun out there a little bit. I wonder if I got slippery. All right, let's see if I can clear out this path one more time here. After making my... Crazy designs. I mean, it looks pretty cool coming off the front there. It's different. It's something interesting to, you know, play around with the different uh, seasons and stuff like that. I don't know how absolutely critical it is. I'm sure you lose some traction if you don't have it plowed properly, but... I mean, these are just, I, I don't know how much it's going to matter in the grand scheme of things. You guys will have to let me know. Have you guys that have been dealing with more with snow, maybe on some of your maps, is the snow make that much of a difference or is it just something extra to do? All right, let me go park this plow somewhere. I'll keep it for now. I may sell it back at some point, but for now, I'll just keep it. Why not? All right, anything else we want to look at real quick? Oh, that definitely slid there. Um, nothing there. We were checking the prices already. Nothing on the price is right, so... Price is right? <laughs> anyway. Um, little things make me laugh. I'm sorry. About 50% on the puberty. So let's start fast-forwarding pretty quick speed here. Just keep an eye on the used stuff for now. See if anything else pops up. We got a couple more... Tomatoes and lettuce things popping out here. I will probably see about selling those if the price is a good price again. Surprised we don't have a lot more eggs than we do. I guess it put out the cartons uh, and then has just been filling up those cartons. Like It's not like we haven't been still producing eggs. We have been, but I think it was deceptive, deceptively more eggs than it was actually supposed to be there. Uh, and it just hasn't filled up enough to start another stack yet. But yeah, I mean, as now we've got all these chickens. They're going to definitely start making more eggs once the rest of them get older. Uh, let me know, though. Also, do I do we need the rooster? Is the rooster mandatory? Um, or is it just there to be a rooster? Like, is there any specific reason we need the rooster? Oh, there goes the snow. 
Oh, not all the snow went away, though. That's kind of cool. All right. Oh, there it goes. All right, let me slow down a little bit. Let me just check the used stuff real quick. I mean, there's a silage compactor. We can compact some snow, too, probably. Um, and then the price is... Lettuce, 1072, is above average, but not a good price. And then tomatoes, 522, is also above average, but not a good price. So we'll sit on the tomatoes and the lettuce for a little bit longer. No problem there. How are our vines? Should be starting to grow hopefully next month. And then we'll be good to go. All right, I guess we're fast forwarding time again. I mean, this is going to be <laughs> a series where we're doing a lot of fast forwarding. Because uh, there's really not a lot to do. I want to go to 8 o'clock and see if that is... I mean, as the season gets later, I think the time will change a little bit, right? It'll be like earlier, sooner, or the light will come sooner is what I mean to say. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Oh, we got a decent amount of number of tomatoes. There comes a good number of lettuce now. Number of lettuce. Amount of lettuce. Uh, lettuce is at a bad price, but it is starting to go up. Uh, it's just at average, basically. 990 is average on hard. And then this is 532. Uh, it's a little bit above average, but not at a good price yet. So we can still sit on both of these for a little bit longer. Uh, how are the eggs? Eight fifty-eight, not a good price. Eggs, you got to be above thirteen hundred to be at a good price for eggs. So we're quite a ways away from that, but that's okay because we don't really have a whole ton of eggs over here. How's our chickens looking? Uh, they're a little bit low on the grain. We'll need to get some more grain here probably today. Uh, puberty, 66%, so two more months, and those will start making some eggs for us as well. Uh, it'll double our egg output right away. And then you guys are coming up to pretty quickly behind. And actually, we'll probably sell off a few of these chickens just to start, like I said, making a few more. Let me go ahead and grab the low loader, and hopefully this thing doesn't flip out over here. I'm actually a little bit nervous about this. Let's get the chickens fed again. I guess if I'm just going to do this for big bags, I could always uh, change the loader's settings or thingy. Um, actually, you know what? I'm just going to grab one of these. I don't need both of these. Uh, what do you want? Down a little bit more? There we go. All right. Well, we're not dying yet. It was Maybe it was the spot over here. Are we going to flip out when we drive over here? Okay, hopefully, <laughs> I don't want to say anything. I'm too scared to, there we go. All right, chickens are fed, easy enough. I actually like the physics of this bag thing. It's pretty cool. Ooh, about to flip myself over. There we go. And chickens are fed. Let's check on the water for the uh, plants real quick. You're... should be good. You're a little bit lower. Let's go ahead and get you some water real quick. About to be full of tomatoes. But the rest will store inside the building until we pick them up. Big old load of water here. Um, how are our vines doing? From here, they don't look like any different, so we'll go over there and check in a minute. Looks like we do have weeds on that other field next to us, or the rest of the field, I should say, next to us. I'll have to check to see if there's weeds on the grape vine sections themselves. I don't. I know we can add fertilizer. I don't know. If, is there a weeding thing?
traffic over here all of a sudden. Everybody came over here. By the way, the question marks, in case you haven't watched any of my other series since the patch came out, the question marks are just little help items um, strewn about different parts of the... Well, different parts of the starting area for sure. I don't know if there's other parts of the map that they pop out of, but they're just little, little help items. And literally the same thing you can get from just going to this screen. Uh, just different spots of this menu that pop up based on, I guess, things that they felt like were relevant. All right, that's good. Water should be good for quite a while again. Let's go check out our vines. I mean, I think they'll start growing here next month because this is the month that they'll be technically planted, so to speak. Uh, and I think they'll start growing again next month. Tons and tons and tons of weeds here. It actually tells you herbicide. Is that telling you how you have to get rid of these? Like we can't use the uh, the weed, uh, like the weed rake, so to speak. Um because I tried doing some weeds on my other farm and they were still small and the little weed, I'm going to call it a rake, but whatever, the, the, the mechanical, the manual weeder didn't work, but maybe it didn't say anything down there. Maybe, maybe you have to wait for it to say something. And then what it says tells you what you could use. Now, obviously I think you could use herbicide at just about any stage, but at that stage right there, those are too tall for the uh, little scraper thing. And you have to use the herbicide for that. Maybe that's what that means. I could be wrong. But if it is, that's really cool. That's really convenient. All right. Let's check. I mean, there's really not much else for us to do, is there? We're just really just kind of zipping through these these months waiting for something to come up. Looking for the prices again. So I got a little bit of loan I can get back if we absolutely needed to. But I think we're in a pretty decent spot right now. That We're finally starting to make a little bit of extra side money. Um, yeah, both of these. I mean, the lettuce is going back up, but not very quickly at the moment. And then again, eggs are probably still at a bad price. I would imagine. Yep. Very much at a bad price. All right. We're going to go ahead and fast forward a little bit today. And actually I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in there. When we come back, we'll, uh, just keep on keeping on. We'll probably sell some tomatoes and, uh, lettuce next episode. Um, uh, I'm hoping I can start selling enough stuff soonish. I would like to probably get the sheep down before I worry about too much more about the, the orchard stuff. I just want another thing that I could sell that's going to be cycling through the months that can have good prices at different times of the month of the year. So I'd like to try and get some sheep down at some point in the near future. We'll see. We'll play by ear. We'll see if we can get enough money for that. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye.